Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to block Windows 11 from installing on Windows 10. It seems a little complicated. This is a completely new updated video and tutorial and registry files. There are only a couple of things you need to know to simplify the whole process. The first one is whether you want to use our registry files. That will wrap it up for you. Whether you want to edit the registry yourself or whether you want to use Group Policy Editor. Again, we recommend using the registry files. It simplifies it. Here's the second thing you have to know going forward. What build of Windows 10 you're on and what build you're willing to go to. So check your start settings about to see what build you're on. Right now at the time of this video, it'll probably change, but 21H2 is the latest build. And as feature updates go, we recommend that you allow the newest feature update to be installed in Windows 10. All right, so the first thing you can do is download our registry files right here. Look for a link to this page in the video description. You click download now. I think I already have them here. Let's see. Yeah, so here is the zip. Just double click on whichever one you want to allow Windows 10 to go to. Once again, we recommend whatever the newest is. That would be that. So you would double click it. Click yes. I think you click yes and then OK when you're done. If you decide you want Windows 11, you actually go to Restore Default right here, and that will restore your defaults. Pretty easy to do. As you can see, we've covered this in a minute and a half, but for those of you who want to get geeky with it, do it yourself. That's fine, too. So let me show you what we did in the registry by doing it ourselves, which will actually show you what's in the registry files. Windows key plus R. I do regedit. I think i got to update the uh, screenshots in here, too, but for now... We'll show you how it works. I do have to update that screenshot. We're going to go to H key local machine software policies, Microsoft. And I may go a little quick for some of you. If I do just hit pause, catch up, hit play. It's a lot to cover. Press enter. And you're looking for a windows update. As you see, it's not here. So we're going to right click on Microsoft. We're going to do a new key and we'll name that windows update one word capital W, capital U. have to keep moving this as we go. Now we have the new key we need. We're going to need to create two things here. Once again, I got to update this. Shoot. Maybe I did. Give me one second here. I thought I updated it. I did. All right, moving forward. Target release version, just like that. Capital T, capital R, capital V. Right click over here on the right side of Windows Update, New, D Word 32 bit value, type in or copy and paste target release version. Double click that and change the value data to 1 and click OK. Now we're going to create a new string. It's very similar to what we just did, but it's called target release version info. So let's do that. Right click, New string value control v or type in target release version info note the caps t r v i enter this is where you need to know which build of windows you want to go to so we're going to double click this new string and here's your value data type in let's use 21 h2 for the example click ok now you can see target release version value data 01 target release version info 21H2. And there you have it. I'll update that screenshot when I'm done here. As I said, the whole thing was revamped. Either way, whether you use the registry files to do it yourself, please reboot now. Group Policy Editor. Windows 10 Home users would have to enable it. There's a link here if you want to do that. But once again, probably just go back to the registry files. Let's open Windows Key Plus R, gpedit.msc. Press Enter or click OK. Once again, I'll move this up, move that down. We're going to follow this right here. So move this over a bit so you can see. Computer configuration, administrative templates, expand the arrow. Windows component, expand the arrow. Windows update, right here. And as you can see, manage updates offered from Windows update. Double click on select the target feature update version. You can see that right here. 
and we're going to actually enable it I believe let's see here there you go so double click that click on enabled and here's your target version for feature updates so you do 21 h2 just like that then you click OK and you're all done with that once again you'll need to reboot change your mind just come back and change it to not configured and you'll end up getting Windows 11 eventually pretty easy to do right so once again as you can see we're five and a half minutes in however I could have done the video in under two minutes by saying download the registry files let it double click the one you want double click it when you want Windows 11 back really super easy to do so this was in beta months and months and months ago and now everything is working the way it's supposed to so there you have it that is now how you block windows 11 from installing on windows 10 thanks for watching as always see ya